Stories from the Tabernacle by May Moore. Stage directions for Richard Twist. The story of Richard Twist is the only one here that doesn't actually use figures or felt. So it's, you know, really there's lots of different ways that you could tell this story, but I'll show you how I did it. I happen to have a really great map that I pulled out of a National Geographic magazine, and it shows where native people groups lived all over North America. So when I told this story, I start using this map, and we used it to talk about the different names of people groups and where they lived, and then I used this map to show kids you know, how people came from Europe and how native people were pushed out. Another great resource is picture books, especially nonfiction picture books, because it's great as part of the story to show people what you're talking about, about Native people doing kind of Native, traditional Native things. So if you can find books from your library that, have, that are about Native people who live in your area, that would be ideal for telling this story. Then when we actually, when I went to tell the story about Richard Twist, I flipped this map over. And on the other side, it shows at the bottom all the different ways that Native people were kind of pushed farther and farther inland and eventually forced onto reservations. So this map right here, the red, shows you all the current reservations. And so we started talking about Native people all over North America at the beginning, and then I flipped this over facing the audience. There's the audience. And we start talking more about Richard Twist. And we talk about the ways that Native people have been hurt. Then I bring back the Nehemiah blocks, and I sort of scatter them around the edge of the map, because that's the connection that we want to make. So that Native people are like the people of God when their city, the walls, were torn down. All right, so, yep, we're just going to scatter a few blocks. And then I didn't use a little figure for Richard Twist. I printed off a picture of him. So when you talk about Richard Twist, you know, you could use a figure or you could show a picture of him. And then I'm going to point on the map when we talk about him being born in South Dakota. We point South Dakota. I'm going to point on the map to Oregon, which is where he lived later. Oregon is over here. He had a moment in Hawaii when he felt like the creator spoke to him, so I would point to Hawaii on the map. And then there's other opportunities in the story to show more pictures of people worshiping God in a native way, which would be a great part of this story. And then the other thing we want to do is just sort of slowly to place a few blocks on top of each other, like maybe one or two. And we're going to remember the people who were named in the Nehemiah story as helping to rebuild the wall. There's a whole chapter full of names of people who helped rebuild. And that's our closing question for the Richard Twist story, is who will be the people who are named as helping to rebuild the walls with Native people?